another example of how to solve systems of equations in three variables. Here are three equations, and again, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and label the three equations. Step number one is to take one of the three equations and solve it for one of the three variables. And just to illustrate here that you can pick any variable, I'm going to take my first equation and solve that for z. So z equals, and I'm going to move the 2x and the minus 3y to the other side of the equation. So we get minus 2x plus 3y plus 5. Okay, I now take that value for z and plug that into the other two equations here and here. So now I write, rewrite equation number two as x plus 3y plus 8 times what z is equal to, which is minus 2x plus 3y plus 5, and that should equal 22. And the third equation, 3x minus y plus 2 times z, and z is equal to minus 2x plus 3y plus 5, and that should equal 12. Okay, now I have two equations that only have two variables. I'm going to combine those. So we have equation number 2 becomes x plus 3y plus, or no minus, because 8 times a minus 2 is a minus 16x, 8 times a 3y is a 24y, and 8 times 5 is plus 40, and that equals 22. And equation number 3, we get 3x minus y, 2 times a minus 2 is minus 4x, 2 times 3y is plus 6y, plus 2 times 5, which is 10, equals 12. Again, continue to simplify those two equations, combining all like terms. Equation number 2 now becomes x minus 16x is minus 15x. 3y plus 24y is plus 27y. And then we have equals 22. When I bring the 40 across, that's minus 40. Equation number 3 is 3x minus 4x, which is minus x, minus y plus 6y is plus 5y, equals 12 minus 10. When I bring the 10 across, I get a minus 10. And then finally, combining the two numbers on the right side, I get equation number 2 is minus 15x plus 27y equals minus 18. And the second or the third equation is minus x plus 5y equals 2. All right, now I have simply the two equations and two unknowns, x and y. Now I, have, I can use any method I like. And it looks like if I multiply the bottom equation here by a positive 15, or actually a negative 15, then I can cancel out the x's. So that's going to be my strategy. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 15. So the second equation doesn't change at all. It stays as minus 15x plus 27y equals minus 18. So, and then when I multiply the both sides of the bottom equation by negative 15, I will get a positive 15x. 15 times 5 is a 75 times the minus, that is a minus 75y equals, and a minus 15 times the 2 is a minus 30. I can now combine those two equations with the purpose of getting rid of the x's. Notice when I add those two equations together, the x's drop out, and I'm left with a minus 75 plus 27y, that's a minus 48y equals minus 18 minus 30 is minus 48. Uh, and this gives me at least some comfort that it looks like I did it correctly because if I divide both sides by negative 48, I get y equals 1. All right, it looks like I'm on the right track. Now I need to go ahead and find z and find x. First, I'll start with x. I'll take one of these two equations, maybe this one right here, this one right here, and plug in the value for y that I just found. So I'll rewrite equation number 3. Equation number 3, I had a minus x plus 5y equals 2. 
Notice that I found the value for y, which I can now plug into the equation over here. So my third equation becomes minus x plus 5 times 1 equals 2, or minus x plus 5 equals 2. Bringing the 5 over to the other side, I now have a minus x equals 2 minus 5, or minus x equals minus 3. So if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get x equals 3. So now I found the second of the three variables. And finally, I go back to my first equation right here and plug in the value for y and for x in here. And then I get z is equal to minus 2 times x, which is 3, plus 3 times y, which is a 1, plus 5. So z equals minus 6 plus 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 6. That means z equals a positive 2. So now I have found the values for x, y, and z that will make these three correct equations. Now, just to make sure I did it correctly, I'm going to plug in the values for y, for x, and for z back in equation 2 and 3 to make sure that everything lines up. So taking equation number 2 and replacing every x by 3, every y by 1, and every z by 2, see what we get. So x now becomes 3 plus 3y, and y was equal to 1, so 3 times 1, plus 8 times z, and z was 2, and that should equal 22, question mark. So is that indeed true? Let's see, 3 plus 3 plus 16, is that indeed 22? And it looks like it is, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 16 is indeed 22. So, so far, so good. And doing equation number 3, again, plugging in x, y, and z for x, y, and z here, we have 3 times x is equal to 3, minus y, which is equal to 1, plus 2z, and z was equal to 2, and that should equal 12. And let's see if that is indeed true. Not sure. Let's check it out. So we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Minus 1 plus 4 is that equal to 12. And let's see, 9 minus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. That's indeed correct. And so I found the three correct values that solve this system of equations, which means x, y, and z is equal to 3, 1, and 2, and that's the solution to this set. Again, to recap real quickly, label your, label your equations. Pick one of the three equations and solve it for one of the three variables. In this case, the variable z seems to be easy enough by moving these two across the other side. Equation number one becomes this, so let's label that, equation number one. Then you go ahead and plug what z is equal to in terms of x and y, the other two variables, into the other two equations. Replace it like that. Then you simplify the equations, bring it in its simplest form. Now you have a set of two equations and two unknowns. You just use the, the available techniques to solve for that. In this case, I decided to use the method of elimination by multiplying the bottom equation by negative 15, realizing that when I add the two equations then together, the x's would drop out which they did right here. I can solve this then for y. Once I have one of the unknowns, I can then plug that value back into the second equation, or in this case, the third equation, to solve for, z, for x. And then I plug the values for y and x back into the first equation to solve for z. And that's how you solve these types of equations.